Dear fellow coders, welcome to OnLittle Coder. Let's say you've got a data set like this, a text data set like this, and then you have to do text classification. Now at this point, you don't have a target variable. You don't have a class variable where um, something is marked, whether you know what type of news category it is. So this is a news headlines and you don't have a category mark. And the task that's been given to you is that you have to classify a particular news headline into a particular class. Let's say politics, sports, entertainment, finance, like so and so whatnot. Now, if you are presented with this problem, typically, let's say like a year back, what you would have done is you would have probably hired somebody or you have gone to Amazon Mechanical Turk or you would have probably had some in-house hand labeling team that would go an article by article or text by text and then hand label that and then you create a training data set, a mini training data set. And based on that, on top of that, you might do, you know, let's say build, a, build an XG boost or some kind of classification model that would ultimately help you label for the entire data that's what you would have done right so a simple text classification but without training data you would have created the training data that is in the first place which is required for any machine learning problem but today or probably recently i should say you don't have to do that you have an alternative approach i think that is a very good approach if you want to try it out and that approach is basically zero shot classification so zero shot classification is basically a method where you use a pre-trained model um, and then try to classify for the data set that is never, never, never has seen. And I'm going to show you how to do zero shot text classification using hugging face for this particular data set. So the data set that we are looking at currently is India news headlines data set. So this is the data set. And now we are going to build a zero shot classification model on top of this India news headlines data set. So if you're new to Kaggle, the first step that you have to do is have to go sign into Kaggle. After you sign into Kaggle, I would link this data set in the YouTube description. So you have to click the YouTube description link, the data set link that would take you to this page. And after you sign in, click the new notebook. Once you click the new notebook, you would get something that looks like this. After you get the new notebook, just go to your settings and then switch on the GPU. So for this particular zero shot classification that we are doing, if you have GPU enabled, then it's a good thing. So just enable GPU, so that would help you. After you enable GPU, the next important thing that you should be doing is install the transformers library. Hugging face transformers library is what we are going to use to do zero shot text classification. So install the library, I'm installing it. After, oh, the requirement is already satisfied, good. After you install it, you need two libraries uh, one you need um, you need um, pandas uh, because we want to read the data frame right we want to read the headlines you need the pipeline class from the transformers library so run it at this point you have imported pandas with an alias pd and from transformers you have imported pipeline so these two are successfully done now that when that is done we, we, we basically don't need this thing now you have to specify the pipeline you have to create the pipeline for zero shot classification. If you have already done any hugging face, you would probably know in this pipeline, you can create text classification, summarization, like all these NLP tasks. And now specifically, we are trying to do zero shot classification. And by default, it, it, it takes a model for zero shot classification. But if you want to do for different languages, then there are different models available that you can pick. But because I'm doing English, I'm not going to you know specify the model that I want. And I'm going to say device zero that the default GPU um, should be used for this um, classifier. So run this, at this point you can see that it's going to download the model. It's probably a two gig, close to two gig model and it, uh, it started downloading the model. Meanwhile, I'll explain you the rest of the code and then we can come back after the model is finished. So on the data side, we have to get the data, the text data in fact, and the way we take the text data is you go here and copy the file path like here exactly and then you put the file path inside pd.read underscore csv to read the csv because because our data set is actually a csv so they read the csv and then you know take some hundred samples take some random 100 samples um like you don't have to i mean like you can do it with the entire data set um, but if you want to just try it out see the quality of it i would probably go with you know 100 samples or thousand samples and then see how it does um, or if I have a plan to build actually a machine learning model, I would take a small sample of it, try to uh, try to use this method and then label them 
uh, using zero shot classification and then manually go through and then eliminate false positives or false positives that I can identify. So instead of creating a training data from scratch, I would probably augment with the existing data. So uh, I would use, you know, something like this uh, hybrid model and then I would get. So for that, I'm going to get 100 samples in this particular case and those samples I'm going to put it in the object samples and from samples I'm going to get only the headlines text values. So if you look at this, there is a column called headline underscore text. So I'm basically extracting headline underscore text and then I'm putting it inside string. So uh, this object now that's going to be uh, that's going to be an array. I'm, uh, I'm converting them into a list. That's it. I can, I can, I can basically do that here. And just just one extra step i'm converting them into a list at this at this step you can uh, i can actually print this as well i don't have to specify print right at this step we would have um sorry we would have a list of headlines that we are going to give into feed into the zero shot classifier that we just built so using pre-trained models we have just built a zero shot classifier read the headlines sample string converted into list and print the sequence yeah you can see that um, that it has it has printed this uh, like sequence of text um, like a lot of text is available um, we can actually after we do the cal uh, classification we can actually see how good it has done like we can we can pick some cases and then see because because i'm i'm from india of course i should i should be able to tell you whether the headlines is what category it is um, for, for, for this particular case, I'm going to use four categories. We call it candidate labels. Um, the categories that I want it to be, I want to predict whether it is politics, finance, sports or entertainment. I think, I think these are the, these are the only things. I don't know if, um, if there is anything else I can do. Maybe let me add one more, one more category called agriculture because I just, while skimming, I actually found, um, found a couple of, um, agriculture related, uh, items. So I would probably say agriculture as well. Like let's 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 see if it if it manages to figure it out. So politics, finance, sports, entertainment, agriculture. Save, run it. It's 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 again basically list of um, text. And then the next step you're going to design. Um, let's say out, I'm going to call it output. So pass it on the classifier, the text that you want to be classified, and also the candidate labels. So in in the current setup, like the right the classifier right now. It's going to consider it to be um, like a um, like a normal classification. It's not going to consider it as multi-class classification. What does it mean? It means that it's going to try to give the score across all this. So let's say like one is your ma like main score. It's going to give probably like let's say nine point eight for this, point one for this, point five for this. Oh sorry, point zero five for this, point zero zero four something like that so it's going to take that one and then spread it across but if you enable multi-class classification as true which is something that you would say here then it will ignore the fact that you know the scores have to be combined all together the same so it's going to score separately how much um the classifier thinks that this topic or this candidate label is closer to the text i hope i've made sense so if you do not give anything if you leave the default option it is going to treat it like a normal classification and then if you compare all the scores like sum up all the scores it will come to one because it's going to take one and then separate it based on the based on the likelihood of what topic could be closer but if you enable multi-class classification that would not be the case you're going to get different scores for different topics irrespective of what the score is for the other topic like completely like mutually exclusive now let's begin the magic so the magic here is that it oh the magic is already finished before i i explain the magic so maybe we have entered prestige so i'm going to print the output and then you can say that it has got um, um the title the sequence and then the labels and then the scores so the first one is it's it's about relief arrives with new year so it is it is assuming it is entertainment and uh, Malika to follow Pipasha. I assume Pipasha is an actress in Bollywood. So probably entertainment is the right answer here. And here it talks about Hayden, who's an Australian cricket player, Sachin. Again, an Australian, uh, sorry, Indian cricket player. So sports, very well. Um, I should have put technology probably here because 
um, there are companies maybe maybe let me do technology as well technology and um, let's 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 print this so yeah and, and and see like whether it changes like right um when i print the output yes uh let's see the output yeah absolutely cybase we pro to power sap apps on mobiles absolutely it has got 96 percent score for technology and i i have honestly no clue what who is this person i don't know and um yeah mou for genetic research science and technology good political ties politics and um, i don't know this is this is nothing to do with finance but um, 2g scam again technology kind of politics but technology bhp worker politics um politics let me see something very random delhi coronavirus lockdown <laughs> it, it has nothing to do with entertainment again we don't have probably the right category um politics kamal Nath politics and then if i look at one final thing let's let's say uh sharuk has done his bit sharuk again the movie star so it has classified successfully as entertainment so at this point you can see that it has actually done a very good job um particularly because um because these these are you know some of the words that were available um, with the actual pre-trained um, zero shot classification model so like when you use it especially for a news article you should get a very good result and that's what we just saw um how we have got a good result so no training data um basically uh, even if you do not have any training data at all completely from scratch you can build a really really good a decent zero shot classification especially text classification model using hugging face zero shot classification but what if you want to build a sentiment analysis again you don't have training data all you have to do is a very simple fork very simple change i shouldn't have used the word fork um, that, that could be that could mean something else very simple changes instead of giving all the classes like different categories that you want the text or the title to be classified into you basically positive and negative as your candidate labels i'm calling it sentiment labels here basically these are candidate labels and i'm trying to ask the classifier to pair up this text with these sentiment labels okay let's do it and then see what happens magic began and magic ended and then you can see a new year arrived i don't know um probably it sounds negative i don't know if i look at um, i think there was there was some um shutting board service down negative probably smuggling negative and um, um coronavirus lockdown negative if i look at something else I, I saw something related to like murder or something like assault negative so you can you can actually see it has done a good job so uh, of course right nobody is going to run um, uh, sentiment analysis on news articles title you would probably want to do it on customer review nps nps survey response some something of that sort but again if you if you see just um, you know like on the surface it actually does a very good job so what it helps you with this if you do not have training data and still you want to build a classification model you can either go with this completely like i would just use zero shot, zero shot classification model from hugging face and i would just simply do that option one option two i would use this to generate my training data manually go through it but instead of manually going through and hand labeling it i'm going to manually eliminate the false positives anything i see that doesn't make sense i'm going to eliminate it and based on that I'm going to actually build my text classification model using let's say naive bias, XG boost. Like I'm old school, right? So I'm going to talk about only classical machine learning algorithm or whatever method that you prefer. So either this complete zero shot approach, or you can say I'm going to use zero shot to create my training data set. And I'm going to actually build a classical machine learning or any sort of machine learning algorithm cl classifier that would help me classify the text, the headlines into a particular set of um, category that um, that I wanted to be identified. So that's it. If you look at this, um, it's, 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 it's an amazing, um, it's an amazing library pipeline, whatever I, you would like to call it. It solves a lot of machine learning problem. I've, I've been part of a, 
lot of organizations where you know nobody has training data you need to hire human resources like actual people to hand label them and before you you can actually build a, build any classification model for that matter and here completely for free right whatever we are doing is completely for free completely for free hugging face has um, offered us zero shot classification model and um, and yeah here we are what an amazing time to be alive um, you know as much as it is a cliche but it's an amazing time to be alive once again thanks to the hugging face team for making it easier for us to access also making it easier for us to use like completely for free so if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section otherwise this kaggle notebook would be in the youtube description all you have to do is copy the notebook edit it and then play with that and then let me know you know how how you feel about this zero shot text classification basically zero shot or text classification without any training data set stay safe take care of yourself see you in the next video